Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are playing some more Brews in Timeless. Uh, with the new set gonna come out in a couple days, done a metagame analysis. The upcoming weekend is the metagame challenge, I believe, for his, uh, Timeless. So I wanna find some decks outside of the norm to try out and see what works. And this deck is kind of throw Dark Ritual Necropotence into any shell and you could probably win, but it is a vampire combo deck. So ideally you turn one, Dark Ritual, Soren, minus Soren, put Galta and Marvin into play or Lord Xander, laugh maniacally at your opponent and win that way there. Uh, there's also kind of the fair game plan with um, just like Deathrite Shamans, Edgar, uh, Blood Ghast in here keeps coming back. You can Soren to sacrifice a vampire to deal three damage, which the Blood Ghast is a vampire, then get it back. So kind of repeatable lightning helix also helps with the life gain from Necropotence. Creature of Schism is a vampire that can uh, dodge bolt, give us a uh, card advantage or life link tokens, depending where we're at in the game, ahead or behind. Uh, this also can give us some life indirectly for our Necropotence. Fatal Pushes, Thought Ceases in here as well, uh, just for some disruptive elements. I may... I'm uncertain and we're going to play some games if I want this to be Inquisition or if I want this to be Thought Seize. Generally Thought Seize Necropotence is a little bit of a non-bow uh, because life is a resource, but want to see from there. Uh, the mana base, we have some fetches. The fetches will allow us to get blood gas going a few times. Deathrite Shaman ramp, color fixing. We have an overgrown tomb for the green abilities. Uh, we have a godless shrine to fetch for Edgar. I like Edgar because there's not a lot of exile removal. So even if they fatal push or stuff like that, it just keeps coming back. Um, so it's a nice recursive element, I find. Um, there's the Takanumas, Hive of the Eye Tyrant, and a Castle Lockwing. Six swap ups in here. Our sideboard. Some Pithing Needles for activated abilities, Rest in Peace for Graveyard Hate. We have Ashiok the Dream Render for like field decks, storm decks, stuff like that. Graft Digger's Cage for anything trying to cheat things into play. Strict Proctor for ETB style effects. Shieldred's Edict, uh, mainly Planeswalker removal and additional removal. Dampening Spear for any combo decks. Uh, Kalidus for aggressive decks like Burn, stuff like that is a lifelinker. But also anything that, like, stuff's dying, we want it to go away forever, get it exiled, Meat Hook Massacre as sweepers as well. So we'll try this out, see how it plays out. Um, I'm most likely, like, for the first run, going to do my Mono Black Devotion deck. I, I really like that deck. And I will build a proper sideboard. You are, like, a Karn board, so I'm going to have probably, like, six or seven Karn targets. But I think like with the Diver I don't like being all in Karn because like you main board the ley lines, you probably don't want the ley lines in some matchups, so you kinda of play around that way there. So let's go turn one. I guess I could do ley line of the void, but I kinda of like I guess we have the combo. If our opponent has a fetch, I can actually turn two. So we'll keep. Don't thought seize me, bro. Said don't thought seize me, bro. Kind of annoying. So chances are they take Soren here. Should take Lord Xander. That's the scary one. We'll go death right here. A little bit awkward, we drew three of our non-utility lands, like even if any of these were a fetch, turns on the castle. See what they do here. If I can get out a schism on two, I will. Stark Ritual Wondering on two. Thoughtseize into Wondering. The Demonic Tutor. Into Breach. The lightning bolt. Okay, well, 
you clearly wanted that to go away. So this is likely Rakdos Breach. So I'm going to get rid of the Dark Ritual out of their yard. Well, that's annoying, but... We got Schism here. So I have a couple options. I think we just get Schism going here. I'm just gonna attack. They don't have a way to enable Delirium. Actually pretty good. Um, I think we just go second here. Because I didn't have Luris, I should have known that they weren't on that, but we didn't really have a way to play around. Again, just a little annoying that just the way our mana came up. Cool. Schisms. Like I said, fair game plan here. Pretty nice. Um, in this matchup, they're likely like one ring. Needle the One Ring. Probably want Edict. They probably bring in... I'm going to get rid of the Marvins. I feel like they're just going to bring in more Disruption. They're likely going to be on Bowmaster, but I think between like our Bowmasters, we're probably fine. So maybe trim a couple pushes. I could just go straight off the combo. But I think we do that. I just want something... Actually, if they are one ring shield it, I probably want the pushes, so... We'll get rid of Edict. I could just get off the Lord Xander. Like, they probably bring in more disruption. Hmm. It's interesting. Um, because they're Blood Moon, I do want that. We're at twenty lands, which is probably enough. They're probably not Storm, so maybe we don't Ashiok. I want to have the threats. I think Blood Gas are pretty solid in this matchup, just they don't have exile removal. Okay, so I'm going to prioritize getting... A basic Swamp here. So, close to the combo turn, not quite. They could bolt here. But I think this is a solid turn one play. They could bolt there, that's fine. I can also fetch to Takanuma. Did I bring in anything white? Did they have the fatal push? Ritual, wondering.
Okay, that's actually really solid for us. I should have attacked first. I would have drawn a card. So we don't get damage through, but we get the token. They take the damage and we lock them up. Preacher of the Schisms! Dodges Bolt. Bed of Blood Moon. Might want another copy of Preacher. I do think the... Because like Swords doesn't really get played that much. There's not really white base decks. I think we're fine. Like we could play Swords. Uh, the scary 76%. First, almost combo. Uh, I think we're going to mulligan this hand, actually. We'll keep this hand. The Preacher back. It's a little iffy, because like that other hand just doesn't put enough pressure. And we're like a dark ritual from going off here. So I went with this because I want to increase the likelihood we draw a land. So we're actually trying to avoid filtering. What you got? Uro, Oko, Brainstorm. Don't want Omnath here. Again, I'm just gonna hold this back. They are brainstorm locked at least. So they should have played it the other way. So this deck will have exile. Give me a land. Please give me a land. Give me a land, give me a dark ritual. Maybe I should play, maybe bubbles are good. 34, 42%. Thank you. I'm going to get the Overgrown Tomb. So, they discard half their hand. They do lose the Uro. But I can Necro next turn to refill my hand. They also fetch double Ketria here, so no white source yet. We want to try to find a Bowmaster. With them having so many Brainstorms, it's worth us uh, playing around here. But we'll mill half their library. And then we get a view of what's happening. They could bolt Soren, which if they do, they do. 
All right, opponents had enough. In this matchup, we definitely want Ashiox, I think. Um, I do think I want Rest in Peace. Do I? Probably not. Dampening Sphere doesn't do much. Kalidus could be a thing. Probably not. It's smaller than their stuff. Meat Hook we don't want. Cage could be all right. Probably want the Edict. I don't want Strict Proctor because it's bad with Uro. Ashiok deals a similar thing. So I think we're just keeping that in. Um, and I'm probably just going to take out the Fatal Pushes. They might have like dorks, but I think we're okay. Give yeah, us another, another feel, another go. Very surprised. They're seventy six percent with like a not cheap deck. Okay, so we can turn two. If they fetch. Not, I have Thoughtseize. This is actually really good, because I get to Thoughtseize them. They have Leyline Binding, they have Oko. So they can get the Leyline Binding. But we discard half their hand. I do think we get rid of Oko here. So they can fetch. But they still lose two cards here, and then they don't have a play next turn. Which is fine, because then next turn I have the land in there. I get rid of two. Um, this turn we'll just attack in. Don't really have a play otherwise. So I can get Necro out next turn. And also get Schism going. Ragavan's not bad. So we kind of got a little punished, but I don't think we were ever playing around the Ragavan. And that takes their whole turn. Um, here, I think we fetch, get the Overgrown, and just play Schism out. We have a choice, we can attack in here. Or hold back for Ragavan, but I think we're just going to go in here. I guess it's worse if they have, um, if they draw Leyline. Schism's decent because it can attack into Omnath pretty profitably. Cultivate. So that will allow them to trigger the life from Omnath. So we are definitely going to want to find some card advantage. I maybe should have held the fetch because if we... Let me just go Ragavan here. Soren's pretty solid, but I think we do that as a follow-up. Just because this gives me like we'll draw six here. It's a 
pretty terrible draw. I do need to kill this Omnath. They gain some life. So they can fetch to add more mana. So here I can Soren. I think what we actually do we attack with both I was considering attacking with both because then I could soar in Do you want to keep the life around? I just want to thin out my deck here. We ideally want like a blood ghast. So because if they had the other land, they deal four, we have to be mindful of it. Kind of annoying that we drew that. So hopefully they don't have another land. I can eat something in their graveyard to gain some life. Might have been right to hold Soren. Because Galta was kind of our win condition. Okay, so they gain some life. They brainstorm. Well, I didn't think I'd be playing around Ugin the Spirit Dragon today. Things that weren't on my to play around list. Oh, we're dead. <clears throat> All right. Well, if they're on Ugin, then. That is a bit worse. Um, I guess Proctor's not. It's bad and good. I think we get rid of the Galtas. They don't do enough. And bring in a couple pushes. Getting rid of Omnath seems important. We're not even certain that they had Yugen in hand, they did Brainstorm there. I'd love to just draw a Bowmaster, like, on turn two. Um, okay, so we keep this. The question is, I can turn one... Necro is probably the line. Or I can turn one Soren. Cast Blood Ghast, probably not.
Turn one Necro seems the strongest. We'll just draw three this turn. So I think we're gonna go... Demonic Tutor, get Lord Xander. Ooh, Ashiok's also really solid here. We might Ashiok first. It's an interesting one because depending on how they fetch, it looks like they're four color. Especially if they fetch proactively here. We're gonna go Ashiok. Beg for your life. It makes your life this. this shuts off a lot of their art advantage or like their ability to break brainstorm. And then I can Xander next turn, discard half their hand. We have Oko. That one is kind of annoying. It's not Trust me. Um, still think we do it. Because they have to take their turn to elk it, otherwise I mill half their library. So I am going to hold off this turn with Ashiok. The reason being, if they have a removal spell, then they can animate this and kill, but they're pretty priced into it. They also don't have white for Leyline Binding. Minsk and Boo. So, my turn, I attack in, I can ping, that'll kill both of them, that gets me the value there, I can play Bloodgast, I play Bloodgast, I sack it, I get the life, kill him that way there. Let's try that out.
They're playing Blood Moon. And they're four color greed pile. So we'll do this. This kills both their creatures. They have to sack. I guess they sack the bobble here, which isn't great. Hmm. So sack a vampire. We'll deal the damage to Minsk. Here I will do a mill over. Just exiles a bunch. They're at 18 cards. I'm gonna draw four here. Would have been great if uh, that wasn't all lands. Well, the nice thing, I can leverage these blood gas. Magic. <laughs> we have muscles. Bigger is always, always better. Interesting decision here. I think if they go after Soren, that's fine. I want to be able to kill Minsk here. I have other obligation. Death rights, fine. I make a food. I think a little merriment is in order. They have a dead land. So here, play a land. Get Soren out. We're going to sacrifice here. Kill the death rate. We're gonna kill Minsk here. Well, this is a sad day for do gooders. You. Mill them over a bit. We will fetch a basic here. To save our life total a bit. Have blood gas come back. Play the second blood ghast. And draw three here. So they're kind of forced. I'm only drawing three because we're dead on board otherwise. We did hit Xander, which is nice. Actually, not nice. Well, I get, they have to kill Soren. Pretty much where they're at. Creature will be nice. Haste Monkey, is that lethal? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Literally the top deck of the century. 12 cards left. Let's see if they see it. Oh my god. After all that.
I mean, it's literally the only card in the deck that beats us, and at that point, it's already milled over quite a bit. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Got beat by Mints, got beat by... Uh... Because we had to attack Minsk there. I don't think holding any back because I had the trample. Gonna mulligan here. We'll keep this. Uh, we'll put a fatal push back. Maybe? No, I'll probably put a line back. Ah, uh, put a fatal push back. That one's frustrating. Like it's right to the draw there. Breach. Give me a bowmaster, please. Probably might start with Preacher, to be honest. We'll see. Ideally, they just play like DRC here. I can kill it. The graveyard's pretty full. So, they get intent here. So if they have Lion, they go Breach. They can hit me with Storm. I can Necro for a lot, but I think... I'm just going to get Preacher going. Let's me put some pressure on them. I can also gain some life. They just, their hand was insane. I'm going to let them see, but the fact that their hand was literally Stitcher, Double, Ritual. They shouldn't mess up here, but nothing we did to this game would have mattered. Their hand was like the nuts. I'm just letting him go through the motions. Sometimes he will fizzle out. Seems like this person knows what they're doing, but let's let them do the motions. So we do Ashiok here, we do Cage, we do like just all the anti-storm package. Like you don't really want to kill the Stitcher. Like obviously they went intense there. They had, an, they had three Dark Rituals in hand. They had enough for Storm. 
And they had it, so they had every combo piece in hand, which is very impressive. The Strict Proctors are good, Rest in Peace is good, Kalidas is good, probably want Meat Hooks, probably less on the combo here. So a Cage makes the Blood Gas worse as well. But I think that's fine. Try to just win like the fairway. We can mill them out potentially. We probably want like one less Soren. We probably do want this at least as a. We can win with Edgar or that. Um, three cuts, three cuts, three cuts. Probably blood gassed. Probably like the weakest of them. The question is, do I want something like Edict? Probably not. Could play the other Soren, but the other Soren doesn't do much. We ideally just want to lock them out. So we want to prioritize fetches, obviously, for our white sources here. We effectively have nine sources of white. If we could shut off the graveyard, it's a big plus for us. Thoughtsies, both of these are fine. They take tutor. Um, silent clearing or the fetch land. We're probably just gonna play the fetch land here. They go. I'm doing this because they do play some numbers bolt. Now they might have edict, which would be a little rough, but this will shut off fetch lands. Of course, they don't have a hand with fetch lands. Um, probably just get Bowmaster down. It's a clock at least for us, so. We might just crack Silent Clearing. We'll see. Their fetch lines are dead. I can start eating away at their graveyard. Got him. Prison. Uh, honestly, like, Blood Gas really slow. Do we want Edict? Edict's pretty bad. I could play Thoughtseize, but Thoughtseize, I probably don't want to be Thoughtseizing this matchup. I could Soren. Just have more ways, but I have fewer things to kind of cheat in. So it's a little worse. I guess maybe we just keep it in. Needle doesn't do much. Xander doesn't really do much in this matchup. Um back. I might want um, like West Whale Royal Regent. In the new set there's the six mana vampire like blood artist. I think we keep this. I have push, I have proctor. They're likely gonna have fetches. So I'm hoping my death right can enable it. 
they're also milling over, so there's a higher likelihood. I think we keep it. Meat Hook could also wipe up some stuff. We have Priz. Obviously, if these were a fetch, should be preferred. I can get my White Source. Again, kind of annoying when you draw two out of your four. But we have interaction, and interaction's half the battle. So they thought sees. They have a few options here. They probably take Strict Proctor. It is like the toughest to deal with. Take the Death Rite. It's annoying. We don't need another Meat Hook. Okay, so the shock there is probably Bowmaster. So this forces them to cast it pre. They get their Bowmaster, that's fine. Big ping. Hopefully it's not a bolt. They only play two bolts. They'll play two bolts, two fatal push, typically. This one's also got assemble. Okay, Stitcher. So it's a bit annoying because <laughs> the meat hook enters the battlefield, so it's a trigger there. Like, meat hooking here would be pretty good. But we can't do it yet. The ritual for one? So if I ritual here... Probably not yet. Uh, I forgot the Boatmaster trigger. My bad. I think we just do Blood Ghast here. I have Fatal Push available. We draw another land, then I can sweep up everything. I want them to kind of play this Luris out. I could do it, because this is one, then that pays a two, and then I could just sweep the board. Actually, that's good, because I can do it for two here. So I can kill my Strict Proctor. Let me see. So that's two that I need to pay. Kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Um. Maybe wait. Defeating you will not bring you pleasure. Nor pain. 
kill Luris. I guess that turns that on, but... I'm gonna do this now, I don't want them to have delirium. Or like, um, the scry triggers. They're also just like running at a... I should have attacked there too. A couple little mistakes here and there. I can actually get another land. It's not bad. I don't think Strict Proctor is what we want in this matchup. Too many of our things are enter the battlefield effects. While it's doing a decent job of hosing them, I think there's other hate pieces we can play that are equally as effective. Just more graveyard hate, stuff like that. I think for what we're doing, it's just not working out. Sacrifice this, do this. They get a trigger off that, so maybe we just hold off here. I didn't know if they had Bowmaster or not. Assemble. They go Breach here, they can play Luris again. Which might be their whole turn. They play Luris, I will attack with Preacher, and then I will sacrifice the Preacher. The Diabolic Intent. So they do hit that. They might try to go Dark Ritual here, but then they're off red mana. Be interested to see if they can pull it off here. Like this does cap them on the ability. So it's cutting off mana, which is nice. Okay, they did exile here. The intent again. They could get like dark ritual to hand. They did hit Fatal Push, so Fatal Push might be what they need. They can probably win now. Do they just have Tendrils in hand? Fucking hell. Alright. That's dumb. So Proctor didn't really work. If we didn't have an untapped land, we could have like bow mastered maybe. I don't know. It was a uh, an interesting one. Let me know what you think of the deck. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.